Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 22 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just infiltrated the basement. Uh oh. See you soon. That's not what I wanted you to do at all. Um, what we're supposed to be doing is doing this silently and sneakily. And it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do that right now. Um, we're going to pop a stealth boy. Maybe it'll help me out a bit. Hopefully it does. I don't need this. Ooh, stealth boy, stealth boy, there. Thank God. That could have been bad. Buff out. Didn't need you anyway. What we need to do is go down here. And talk to this guy over here. And there we go. What's that, Antler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Antler. Um, for safe sake. Hmm? Who the hell is okay, Antler? Antler? I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Um... Are you all right? You sound strange. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. Okay. I came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told him stay put. But they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. The um. ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? You don't right. even know. A, a piece of paper, huh. shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. Okay. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Cool is a crack shot and set traps too. Okay. After I realize I heard Antler wrong, so I lock the door okay. to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. Okay. Um, I could just kill him and the rest of his people and get it over with, but I'm gonna ask first who is Antler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? <sighs> All right. Okay. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Okay. And who are you exactly? Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler... Mm -hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. Fair I enough. commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's Elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was... hard. The others' minds going strange. Going crazy. Okay. But then, I found us new Master. I found us Antler. Since then... Everything's been going really well. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Uh, this is... I'm going to go into a little bit of story here because I feel I have to. This is mental derangement caused by extended use of stealth boys. It's also caused their discoloration in their skin. It will mess with their head. Just the synapse and synapses enough that it... In most cases, it causes very severe schizophrenic symptoms, and it will really, really fuck with their brains, which is why we shouldn't be giving them stealth boys at all. 
but of course some of them don't think like that they just know it alleviates the symptoms so of course they want it anyway <clears throat> back on track what do you need me to do told you already Antler wants Nightkin to have all the stealth boys in the bad room with the ghoul okay I'll find the stealth boy stockpile for you if your kin will leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Okay. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. If he does, I'll kill him anyway. Alright, search the nearby room for the stealth boy shipment the nightkin are looking for. Alright, so I, that means I need to go over here. And there's a bunch of nightkin going to be dead here. Uh, that's a nail board. Not great. But, yeah. It's a thing. Let's go in here, use the key. And we'll walk right in. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Well, aren't your eyes sharp? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, pretty much. good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. <laughs> this ghoul's got jokes, all right. How did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? All right, I'll I'm buy no it. match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position. And I've been defending it. Right? Okay. Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What All happened right. was... I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after them. Well... Turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. Mm -hmm. And things went to shit fast. I bet. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. And a story. That's a game. <laughs> uh, you don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? A little bit. I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. Can't blame it gets you. Gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, yeah. I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. How have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. That doesn't sound like it. How do I help you to get out of this room so that way I can deal with this shit? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this really? was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. No, She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Yeah, you're not wrong. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Okay, I'll try to find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Yeah, same here. Uh, I could try and disarm some of these traps, but he'll probably get angry, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until he's actually agreed to leave. Um, I'm still affected by the stealth boy, right? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to need... Okay, where am I going? I have to go this way, I think. And if you're doing this, never touch... The Brahmin skull. Never do that. That is actually Antler, and he he will go hostile and he will murder you. Very, very hard. Whoop. <laughs> that could have been bad. And oh, 
open this up. Little stairway here. And before I start doing anything, I'm going to pick up all the wrenches in here. Because they are necessary, like you wouldn't believe, to make more uh, repair kits. And repair kits will save your ass always. Especially here when you cannot afford to be carrying so much weight. Or at least I assume so. Like I said, this is my first time going this far in with a uh, hardcore mode build. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going off logic. Considering when you are dealing with repair kits, they are the least heavy item you can use for all of this. I'm pretty sure there should be more, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm just going to check a few more times. Wonder glue would be nice. Uh, fission batteries, or for something else entirely. What the? Okay. That, those sounds are messing with my head a little bit. But, uh, keep going this way. And hmm, this is not actually the correct way. I'm just kind of taking an alternate route to where these ghouls would be going. Um, I could have sworn there was a repair stuff here. I guess not. Um, I'll turn off the light because it's whitewashing everything. Uh, scrap metal. Not a lot of scrap electronics, though. Could use more of those. Pencils. Um, another wrench. Wrenches are your friends, and they are very hard to come by. Always pick them up. Always. Especially if you're going to be heavy into repair, which will be always helpful. Forever. And that's not going to work. Uh, those are all building stuff. Hey, I can make some 44 magnum rounds. Although I don't have anything that would be used in them. So we'll call that good. That would be using them, I guess is the proper word I meant to say. But I couldn't say it because I'm dumb. Um, make the rest of those. And then the rest of them will be put in, back in the 9mm rounds. And we'll call that good here. Now I have a few more rounds for my revolver here. My pretty little useful revolver. There we go. And now I can make more repair kits. If I have all of the things I need, which I do. Cool. Take some of those as well. Because Wonder Glues are not entirely difficult to come by, but still it's nice to have a good supply. Uh, space suit and space helmet. Uh, that actually sells for pretty good, considering it's worthless, basically. Uh, Stimpak, Medex, and Mentats. Yep, that'll do. That's basically all I really need. Whoa! Glitchiness! That's basically all I really need from here. So I will head back up and go in the direction I should be going. Uh, yeah, the stealth boy wore off, so I'll need to pop another one once I head up. Time is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. And we'll go this way. Or at least we'll pop a stealth boy when we actually need to deal with it. Which is right past... Stuff in the filing cabinet. Not necessarily something I want. Uh, how about here? Yeah, we could use those. And what about these? Little caps. And rounds that I don't use anymore. Uh, whiskey bottle. Don't 
have any whiskey in it, then it's not something I want. Okay. Going to need to sneak very, very, very stealthily. And I'm going to need to consistently check the map. Because. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Uh, that would be some place I need to go. And that's a stealth nightkin. And. Whew. This is going to be difficult. It's been years since I did this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, this is a little spot. Uh, more wrenches. More scrap metal. Don't necessarily need all the scrap metal, but it's nice to have. Um, wrench, need that. Wrench, need that. Let's see what... Uh, if I'm overweight. I am very close to being overweight. So, I'm gonna drink a sarsaparilla. And... Call that good. Uh, yeah, we're good there. And open this. Yep, that is a hidden stealth nightkin. To do one of them is running around like a crazy person, which they are crazy people. Don't get me wrong. Um, Jesus, they're running around. It is really messing with my head. <laughs> um, okay. This is the spot. Can I walk up to him and pickpocket? No, I cannot. Shit. Um, I do kind of need his key. So I do need to kind of kill him. Or maybe I can lockpick. I'm not entirely sure. I'll find out. I mean, it would be okay if I killed him, but I want to make sure I can do it myself before I start, you know, blowing heads off. Which would be fun, don't get me wrong, but... There we go, we'll take that. Um this. There we go. And we'll check on the girl ghoul. That was this... What was it? Harlan's buddy. Uh, gal pal. Uh, whatever they were. Because it's kind of difficult to tell. Um, <clears throat> not a lot here. I will definitely need to farm this spot. Nope. Needs a key. It requires the key. I have to kill the dude. Fair enough. So. Whoa! He is shooting fire. Christ. Okay, that's not going well for me. And I'm surprised that his... Uh, stealth boy is not disengaged yet. Oh, shit. God damn it. Saw it disengage there. Oh boy, this is not going well. Oh, that's going to hit me in the face. Uh, stim packs, sarsaparillas, uh, purified water. A lot of those. That'd be nice. Uh, come on. Is he still over there? Yeah. Up. Oh, need to reload. 
he already sees that I'm still here. And this is gonna be difficult. Do I? I thought I reloaded it all the way. And he's just standing there now. No, he's not. Um, I'm still on fire. That's not great at all. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, come on. Gotta run this way. Uh-oh. And... There we go. Whew! And I'm still on fire, as well as crippled in my right arm. Great. Uh, I'm going to put a doctor's bag there. One on my head. One on my other arm. And I used up all of them. Shit. Um, let's see, incinerator. Not even close to useful, but I need the key. That was an ordeal. That could have been done so much better. But it couldn't at the same time. Because I suck at these games, apparently. Um, there's something in this desk. Uh, I could have gotten the jail key out of there. Uh, okay, I'm going to call the episode good here and end it. And I just knocked over my soda fan. Fucking fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. I post them daily. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so that way I can talk to you guys and we can bring more people into the fold. I would really appreciate all of that. You have no idea. And I will see you in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.